interesting story. George Benson had been in the day before. He had been talking with George, and George was talking about Jim Hall. And, and George said, uh, you know, I went to Jim Hall the other night, and I only have one question. How does anybody swing like that at that low volume? <laughs> and I have the same question to you. I've been in this, listening to music in this room for 23 years, and you too have managed to fill the room with sound. How do you do it? Heavy grading strings. <laughs> 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 Heavy, <laughs> Heavy picks. <laughs> Stereo speakers. <laughs> Lots of guitars. Some of, part of, uh, since she's not answering it. <laughs> she's stumped. Yeah. Um, I think in, in, in this context, um, you know, when there are only two of us, Lauren can really play a lot of full voicings, and um, we're both trying to be aware, since there's not a drummer, of rhythmically how are things going to interlock without being um, kind of heavy-handed. Uh, that's that's how I perceive it anyway. You guys might be going like this, but um, I, 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 I. so it's. I think it's a it's a matter of trying to find the spaces and not fill them all just for the sake of filling them, but you know, um, trying to create rhythm and, and harmony and melody and groove at the same time. I'm always imagining a full band behind me anyway. I just feel drones, whether I'm playing drum fills or not. <laughs> but, um, I don't know. We just try really hard. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's.